In this screencast, I want to talk about lessons and the lesson function in Moodle. Um, lessons, uh, a lesson activity presents a series of pages that ask you to make a choice about the course content. The content could be from a reading, could be from notes, could be from a slideshow, um, or it could be created within the lesson. It just depends on how the instructor uses it. Lessons are used to create a student-centered adaptive learning experience. Um, when a lesson has been created, the lesson icon appears. Okay. Um, within the lesson, each activity or answer to a question will lead you to a new page determined by the instructor. Sometimes the instructors may use it and it could be a graded assignment. Sometimes it could be a timed activity. Sometimes you could uh, have multiple attempts at it to figure out what the correct answer is. You may only have one attempt at it. It just kind of depends. Um, it's really up to the instructor or it's their prerogative on how they set up their lesson. But let's look at what one kind of um, give you a feel for what one looks like. So I'm going to scroll you down. And notice here we have our lesson icon. Okay. And the title of this lesson is Baker Lesson 1. So let's drop in. Now when you first drop in, there's a few things you see. Notice the title of the lesson appears at the top, and this box contains the content. So here's where the question is, or say you have to read something, then ask a, uh, answer a question. So whatever kind of text is needed to figure out um, what to do on that initial page um, is right here, provided right here. So for Baker coursework or passing grade uh, for undergraduate is a D or better. Now that's true, but let's go ahead and answer it as false to kind of show you what happens. Right. So I check that. I come over here. Please check one answer. Now, before we click that, let me say that the questions aren't all true-false. They could be multiple choice. They could be matching, essay, short answer, fill in the blank. Um, it just kind of depends on what the instructor chooses. In this case, it's a true-false. But after you've checked it, you want to click please check one answer. Now notice here, the page refreshes. Your answer, false this answer is incorrect and then it goes into detail of why it's incorrect now as you may get a lot of feedback or, or quite a bit of feedback from the instructor you may get told hey check in your book on this page or, or go look for the correct answer here um, it just kinda depends on how the instructor handles that so not don't expect every time to see this kind of feedback but this gives you a sense of what can happen so we got that incorrect let's come over here to the middle and because we get one attempt at it we're gonna continue so the next question, online students do not have an advisor. Well, that is false, okay? So let's go ahead and see if false is the second, you can see that false is the second choice. So let's come over here, click false, and then please check one answer. Notice here, your answer, false, with the questions or the statement or the, whatever the text was in the box above stated, that answer is correct. And then another explanation of why it's correct. All right, and we come over, click continue. And it would just kind of maneuver through the pages continuously that way. All right, and again, the questions can change. They could be different. Um, you could come to a point where there's branches, where you're given separate topics um, that would appear in a tab like this, where you may have three tabs in a row next to each other like this and with all different titles that you would drop into. It would just depend on how the instructor has it set up.